Okay, I am now working on uh, Four Freedoms, and I'll be working in a section of the house. And this will show you my style of stitching, the way I stitch, and especially with the variegated floss. This is uh, Blue Corn from Classic Color Works, and I'm working on the house. Um, hopefully I won't have any camera issues. And I can remember to talk and stop shaking the camera and keep it in, in the frame. Okay. Alright, so I'll get started. Let's see what that light on shows. A, shows a shadow. Maybe I'll turn that one off. Okay, hopefully this will be bright enough. Okay, my stitching. I I was a previous uh, needle pointer, and I guess it's the either the tent or continental stitch. I'm not sure exactly which one it is, but I'm going from the bottom left to the top right to begin my my cross stitch, and. This is how I do my stitches, one at a time. With the uh, variegated floss, it's one at a time. And I hope you I hope the shadow isn't too bad on this, and you can actually see what I'm doing here with just the overhead light. Okay, and this I believe is what they call the sewing method. I don't know. This is all I taught myself, and this is what works for me. Now with this fabric, it's it has enough give in it where I can work my needle and don't have to go under the back. Now on the back, my left hand. Since I can't do two hand stitching because as you'll see my left hand has a mind of its own and it doesn't always do what I want what I want it to do. I can barely hold the needle and get it back in the hole. So when I'm stitching in my frame I'll use the left hand on the bottom to kind of direct the needle as I go th when I go through the fabric and the top one does all the work. My right hand does all the work. So it's to begin well to end one X and go to another one I start I, the top cross goes always goes from top left to right bottom. Now that's the way the stitches go. But at, right now I'm doing just the opposite of what I you know what I'm saying. If you can see, okay this is the beginning a stitch. I go from the bottom left to the top right. I go down two three it's Then I go across to make that final leg and start another stitch. This way I stitch using a variegated <coughs> over dyed threads and doing the one completing the one stitch at a time. If I was doing this with a, a plain, uh, plain color thread with uh, no variation, variegation in it, then I would have done just I would have taken, you know, the bottom stitch all the way across, and then reverse and come back and do the top lead. 
but this thread does have a variegation in it. You'll see later on. So I'm doing it one stitch at a time. And this is how I do it. I can do it pretty fast this way. People wonder, I always say I'm such a fast stitcher. This is how I do it. Like I said, I don't know if anybody would want to watch me do that for 30 minutes at a time. I just had to count my stitches. Um, but this is how I do mine. Now for the other, the top, the next row, I will come up at the top, top left, uh, top right, go down, back up, Now I'm pretty much doing this, the, just the opposite of what I had did going to the left. But this time I'm going to the right. I'm still doing that bottom leg from left to right. And my stitches will remain all in the same direction. Facing the right direction. As you can probably tell, I don't do manicures and pedicures, so my nails are horrendous. My cuticles are terrible. But, you know, I like putting on makeup. That's just not me. So, I try to keep my hands uh, moisturized as much as possible without you know using something that's so oily you know that it stain my fabric so let me see some you know bad cuticle coats all that good stuff but that's just not important to me and see so you can see all my stitches are still and going in the same direction. They're, they're crossing in the same direction. And it doesn't really doesn't take that long. Like I said, the bottom hand, my left hand, guides the needle most of the time. Where I want it, you know, which hole I want it to go through. And most of the time it works. Finish this row out. Like I say, I don't normally talk while I'm stitching because it throws me off. Um, I'm old. <clears throat> I can actually only do one thing at a time sometimes. So, I'm doing 20, 30, 40, or 50, you know, hour of uh, Stitch With Me video, yeah, you would probably end up... <clears throat> just listening to me breathe <laughs> and nobody wants to hear that so I'll finish off this row and if I can if this actually turns out okay I may be able to this setup is not too bad I may be able to I'll find a tag or make up a tag or something to talk about while I'm doing this. If not, like I say, you'll be listening to me breathe. Now, going this way, it does require a little more effort for me to get my stitches in the right place, the needle to come up. Because I'm working 
the opposite of what I normally do. I have also been known to wear coming back in this direction on a row like this to actually if I was stitching and holding the, the Q snap in my hand I probably would have turned it upside down and just made my stitches the way same way I did on the way up across just did them again and it would have been in the same direction just like it is now I chose this chart <clears throat> to demonstrate on because it has the big block of color. The other charts I've been working on have either confetti where I'm changing the thread the thread color you know one or two stitches and I'm changing the thread so that you wouldn't want to see that one. Um, or it was letters where it's not a whole lot of actual stitching to be done but this has a big block of color so it makes it a lot easier to show to demonstrate how I stitch because I have no idea what you would call stitching like this um, you know, this friend of mine, she was looking at, she was trying to figure out if it was, you know, like colonial stitch or colonial stitch or just the European style, but I don't fit into any of, it doesn't fit into any of those categories. So, I don't, I don't know what you call it. It's my step, my style, mini style, so. Wanna stitch mini style, this is it. I can see it goes pretty quick this way. And when I get to the end, maybe I'll show you, I'll take it out of the frame and turn it around and I can show you that I can go back in the opposite direction, just like I'm doing now. And I'll be doing another row and it'll look the same. I keep checking my the monitor on my camera to make sure that I'm still in the frame and you can still see what I'm doing. Hopefully from this angle I see a shadow from my hand and hopefully it isn't too bad and it isn't blocking out too much of what I'm doing okay and you can see how I'm doing this it's okay but hopefully it shows up okay now this is the last one on this row what I'll do is I'll get I'll start what I normally would do Okay, and I'm going to actually take it out of my, off my stand. And I'll just turn the whole thing up, upside down. Let's see if I can get it back in, back into the, uh, to the frame on the camera. Tighten this down. So, okay. All right. Sorry about making you sick. Okay. All right. How about that? As you can see now that this is upside down. Okay. But I'm going to start this row and I'm going to do the exact same thing I was doing before. And yes, 
guess my stitches will still be in the same all of them will be still in the same direction I hope you can see this without through the shadow I'm still doing the same go up through the the left bottom left to the top right down to the top the right bottom there we go a snake always And then across to the top left. And I'm ready to start another stitch. And like I said, this size, actually, this size Q snap. I can hold in my left hand and I can just go and turn it whichever way I would like and I wouldn't have to I wouldn't necessarily put it in the frame but because I'm recording this I put it in the frame so I can keep it try to keep it in in the frame of the camera in front of the lens so I can record but as you can see I'm doing the same motion same exact motion that I did going on the row, this row below. I'm doing the same motion. To create the stitches as I did going that way. And they're still coming out exact same as the ones below it. So, like I said, I, I, I don't know if there's an official uh, name for this style of stitching or how I'm doing it, but like I said, I taught myself I was a needle pointer for years, needle pointing on uh, plastic canvas. So, I made the transition from plastic canvas needlepoint to cross stitch and this just felt right to me. I guess like they say in muscle memory, if I can only get that to work in my golf game I'd be good. You know, if you do something over and over long enough, your muscles kinda like remember how you did it and they kind of automatically do it. That's why it's so hard when you like playing golf. When you do get into a certain uh, rhythm of doing, you know, your swing or whatever, and it's not right, and you you can't. It, it's very hard to change it because your body has already adjusted. Your muscles have that memory as to how they want to do it, and hard as you try to do it another way. It comes out that way, so. But anyway, we're not playing golf. Okay, I'm on my last stitch here, and then once I get this one in, I can show you that when I turn it back the the, the right side up, the stitches look still look the same. They're still all in the same direction. There we go. You can see the variegation in, in the threads. Uh, it's not going to focus. Okay. Now, like I was saying, you can see the variegation in the in the in the Floss, but you can see all of my stitches go in the same direction. 
and just just to be so I can show you what the back looks like. I'll move this out the way and then I'll turn it over. Now this is this is my back. Now of course this is done with a regular thread, so I'm doing my this is my <laughs> one one leg at a, one leg go down to the end and turn around and come back but that's how that looks and then if you look at it on the front it still looks the same as the variegated threads they all still go in the same direction okay so that's how I stitch bye